Uh, today we are going to run uh, about Redbubble that is how to upload our artwork we created the account earlier we also created our artwork using Canva earlier so if you have successfully logged in into your Redbubble account you should be able to see your store link at the top with a copy button which you can copy uh, on the dashboard you also have uh, tips from Redbubble which you can go through which, uh, they can guide you navigating through a red bubble platform you can also see your earnings in the earnings section so let's start by uploading our artwork so uh, click the menu at the top that's a button at the top to add new artwork then uh, click upload new artwork since you don't have an existing uh, work uh, we select our design the one we made from Canva and we copied into the final folder so it will start uploading as it uploads you can uh, put a title a tags and also description this may require some SEO optimization that search engine optimization for your products to be found uh, both on Google and also Redbubble you can also customize it for the other four languages so for one of the tags I'll be using is a genius uh, just checking the spelling okay so on the title of put I'm not stupid just the same title we used for our text then put in some tags like genius then comma love comma fun comma friends just a simple tags so that when people are searching they can uh, find your um, product these are like keywords so you'll be doing a CEO search SEO optimization for uh, tags uh, possibly when you are doing our website for when you are designing our website for selling uh, these items directly from the website so you put some tags then uh, you put description description this will be visible to our customers in the store so you need to put something catchy SEO friendly both for Redbubble and also for search engines like Google and uh, and Yahoo So you just type a uh, text that describes uh, your artwork. Remember your artwork can be anything. It can be even a cartoon drawing, a movie poster, a product you are selling, product you make that is uh, used widely. could be for a certain event, say a birthday, a holiday and many more. So you can add or translate for the other languages. Then uh, we select the background color, that's the color behind the image, remember the image is uh, transparent. Then it's time to activate products the ones that are activated we just leave them and the ones that are not activated we may need to edit so you can click edit and resize the image to fit so this one I'll be resizing you can also position it either vertically or horizontally at the center or even change the image 
So mine now will be scaling down to fit on the cup. Then since it is disabled, I would enable So I'm just trying to make sure I can see my image on the cup and also on the display so that when I edit I can see the results. It's real time so I scale down. As you scale down it also scales down on the cup. So make sure it is visible. Then you can also select the colors you want printed the cup the default color then you click apply changes then you enable It'll also be enabling for the other t-shirts where it is disabled just click enable this one is disabled so i click enable it's activated i also activate for this one enable i also activate for this one enable uh, even for that, um, this one I don't need uh, disable, so that removes that product among your designs. So this one I don't need for now. Um, print cards and posters, I think that's fine. For the mugs, I don't need for curtains, yes. So divisible for mugs. You'll be doing this as a separate tutorial. So we enable and disable for the items that we don't need and uh, for those we need and adjust settings to fit in then we save our changes I also need one for the croc that is uh, for the crocs which have an image inside uh, it's printed then uh, disabled on the clock then when the client orders it's shipped for them the printing happens after the order is placed successfully and the client have paid for it then the bubble will print assemble said to the client the client pays red bubble then you you get your profit that's why it's called print on demand that is somebody is demanding that product and your artwork the company you're working with prints then ships on your behalf Then when the client pays you are paid your profit then they retain their cost plus uh, their markup we also select a few options which are given and also um, accept terms and conditions also there is option for specifying whether it contains nudity so you select no then uh, save the artwork will be processed and um, eventually uploaded onto your shop so give it uh, some time to load this faster compared to Teespring so when uh, congratulations we arrive our product is arrived you give it around 15 minutes for it to be refreshed and you should be able to see it and share your artwork if you scroll down you see some models who, who already are have the image or your artwork printed on the t-shirts which they are wearing you can use these images for your marketing you can either share directly or download 
and share to your social media. We'll be coming to this and uh, doing marketing in the next tutorial. The promise this is graphic design by doing from start to the end. So you do marketing, we create our website, then after that you create more designs. You also go into how you research for these phrases, how you design them using uh, other software like Adobe, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe XD. Uh, you can preview on different colors and see how it looks like. Then uh, the customer when they are ordering they can they'll be able to select sizes. If you compare this with Teespring, Teespring you need to have um, a category for kids and a category for the adults. For Red Bubble, you upload once, then the design is spread across all the t-shirt sizes. So this is how it will look like to the customer can go back to our red bubble account continue with customization so click on the profile picture this will allow you to go to settings this is to see our, our market our profit markup and also adjust our markup so in the settings you go to product uh, settings so this way you can uh, change prices uh, by adjusting your profit margin this is the best price that have been set by red bubble for that t-shirt so when you add up your m you add your markup that price uh, goes up or if you reduce your markup it goes down and for each product you'll be able to see your profit margin you can do simple mathematics if you're making like four dollars per t-shirt then you sell a thousand that's four thousand dollars profit which will be paid to you we'll be able to see uh, payment terms later which you can also check within your redbubble account how much they pay to you and it's paid to the account that we set up earlier that is on your paypal or to your bank through payona so once you edit your markup and you're happy you just save changes So we go back to our dashboard. Um, let's first see our shop settings where you can change a uh, few settings if you wish. That is uh, you can create corrections. So click on manage corrections. Uh, this is like um, categorizing your to work into a category so that you are able to manage it category can have several listings so we go to our artwork I had some previously so I select the artwork that I created then on top there is uh, some of this category so click on the drop down and you are able to create a new category so type in the category name on the box where it asks for the new category then press enter or confirm button then select the product and uh, confirm so that product is added to that category if you go to that category you will be able to see now your product listing and any other you add you will be able to see them you can click to see the category uh, settings so we can change its name and also description 
remember again your SEO is important if you do your SEO correctly here yeah, then the products that are within this collection will be easily found by your customers so you can check a separate tutorial for SEO I'll be doing it on web design and also I'll be covering basics here just to guide you through what you need to know and what you need to do to optimize your store so you can go to our shop and scroll down Since I'm logged in as a, the artist, I'm able to see the correction. But when you click on the correction, there is nothing. Since we just uploaded our designs, our artwork, we need to give it 15 minutes for it to show. So as we wait for this, we will upload the second design using the same process click on our store profile icon then click add new artwork then upload the new work we upload the second one for the hugs then we put a title we also put some tags the same process you can search for these tags online you can also search within Redbubble you just uh, open in incognito mode then try to search for a product within Redbubble see what is provided in the drop down those are the, some of the tags you can use but we'll run now to do proper SEO later it's just a guide then we put description remember description requires we have uh, certain keywords which will be re uh, researching data and come up with a unique description which we then we can use on our product description So we put in our description can be a very simple description but remember this is more of a marketing you are doing to your product when client clicks they will see this description and it can uh, either uh, uh, make them buy or even leave your store so make sure it is unique and also catchy then you go to the products similar to what we did with the other products we enable and disable the ones that we don't need we'll also be editing to resize uh, our image to fit well for cup then we disable for the products that we don't need so something to note with the uh, red bubble it only allows you to design for front side you can't design for front and uh, back side like in um, teespring so to handle that you can have a uh, two products for the same design one for the front side then uh, for that artwork that you're putting on the back on uh, teespring you can create another artwork uh, another listing so you have two listings one that will be printed on the front and another one for a product that can be printed on the back side so the client will request for the both products
so T spring is a bit uh, flexible but uh, the advantage of uh, red bubble is that you don't do a lot of marketing they usually feature your products and also send marketing emails to clients with your product unlike teespring which requires you to make a few purchases them to feature your products so depending on your design you can make a lot of uh, money online with red bubble and teespring is a passive income because you are designing and leaving it there then when people visit your store they just buy you'll also be able to see how you can uh, add a link to your uh, shop on various social media accounts then uh, we start designing or creating posts and videos entertainment material then we link our products to those videos during the entertainment the client can decide to visit the link and make a purchase so that's like uh, free marketing we'll also be using linkedin linktree allows you to put uh, several links for your social media and also for your websites so you'll be adding our shop there and we'll be sharing that link as a profile link when they click then uh, teespring opens um link tree opens then within link tree the client can decide either to use red bubble or to use a uh, teespring to make purchase so again once you're done the models will be loaded with your design or your artwork and you can download these images and use them for your marketing it's legal you can share on any of your social media as you'll be seeing later you can also download upload on canva make a post then share that post then within that post you can embed your your product so red bubble you don't specify the sizes it's the clients when they are buying they specify what they want you can go back and edit your artwork either to change title tags and description or to add or disable some products which you don't need and again we saw under settings that's where you can uh, see the margin pro profit margins which you can adjust and when you adjust it's a price to your products if you take a price to all products otherwise it will only apply for the new artwork that you are proud so you can always edit either edit or disable for the product that you don't need it's not fitting you can enlarge you can also change where it's printed whether it's front or back for a specific product say one t-shirt you want it to be in the front and the other one you want it to be at the back you can change then apply changes if you check your shop right because i edited and didn't save no need to save i, was, I just wanted to show you so if we go to our shop um, you'll be able to see your artwork see whether there is any yes the one for i'm not stupid is already loaded with one product these are some of the products I had done earlier so we can go to collection and as you can see there is a this collection 
so we can view this and uh, you'll be able now to see the products that have that design or artwork and the shop and products so you'll be able to see all of them uh, printed on some models wearing your artwork so you can download that and share with uh, on your social media so that's it for red bubble uh, and uh, congratulations now you are ready to sell we'll be now de be doing marketing in the next tutorial after tea spring thank you